like are complete nothing characters in that game. I do remember them being. They like, take weird. one of the coolest. They take one of the coolest Pokemon villains we've had in years in Lusamine and completely butcher her character. Basically, the Ultra Sun or the the Ultra Recon Squad enslaved Necrozma to use them to use him as an infinite power source inside of Megalo Tower some 200 years before Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. It, I, I love Sun and Moon. I hate Ultra Sun and Moon. <laughs> like honestly, they like the new content that is featured in Ultra Sun and Moon should have just been DLC for Sun and Moon. I was so mad at the game that I never even played the Team Rainbow Rocket uh, post game, which I heard was actually be good but i was just so done with the game at that point that i was like he broke I out want... around the time of the events of ultra sun and moon and then the descendants of those ultra recon squad members go to alola to try and rectify their ancestors mistakes they explained all this extremely poorly and they executed very badly actually now that you say that i do remember doing part of like the 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 rainbow rocket shit but i literally don't remember the slightest thing about the ultra sun that's and moon weird story. probably because i just assumed it was the that. same you would have had to beat into the game to do that because that's so then i probably did beat the game because i do remember doing the rainbow rocket but i literally don't remember anything being different yeah so it's as like you it, can see well, that that was here, that here. yeah like ultra sun and moon is like barely different from sun and moon but like the stuff that is different fucking sucks <laughs> ultra megalopolis was one quarter which makes it super unmemorable I literally don't remember any single difference between Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. Now, before no. you get on my case, before you get on my case, that was my little lull in being a Pokemon fan. Well, I mean, I fucking hate Pokemon now, but like, I love fan games, but I hate like actual Pokemon games now. I basically, basically, my interest in the official games has gone like this over time, whereas like my interest in fan games has gone like this over time. So, you know. The lore is like super cool though. It's just confined within a bad game. I know. I think I think Sun and Moon has the best story. We've been over this. No. Oh. And they, yeah. I I I'm so mad at Ultra Sun and Moon for completely butchering it. Let's split up in order to find them. Because I totally wanted to go this way, not. I don't know, maybe to the other... I think, I think if it were DLC, it would have been bad at, it would have been kick-ass. Ultra Sun if, and If they Moon. made, like, if they, if they made, like, a, a po like, a DLC quest, like, obvi like, the Rainbow Rocket stuff, and then, like, the Necrozma shit, if they made that DLC for Sun and Moon, it would have been great. It just didn't the the changes did not justify making two completely new games um because the new games were not different enough to justify the purchase and also because they forced it into the main store the necrozma stuff they forced it into the main story instead of having it be its own post-game thing it ended up it ended up taking away from what was previously a really good story. Hot take, but Ultra Space could have been a great introduction to the idea of the wild area. Well, yeah. the wild area in every single game oh, no. except Legends Arceus has sucked. Yeah, I don't know, and I, I, I can see where you're you're coming from, where that that would have been a cool way to do it. I don't think the 3DS would have been able to handle it that way. It said it's just one map with one Pokemon. I'm guessing. Yeah. I mean, the Switch, the Switch can barely handle that shit. I don't think that... I mean, well, it's not that the Switch can barely handle it. It's Game Freak can barely handle it on the Switch. I feel like... Yeah, they, I feel like it would have been even worse if they tried to do that sort of thing on the 3DS. Welcome, Ronko. I hope you're doing well. Who am I, what am I going to name this Paris after? Let's go, um... Um... Let's go, um... Um... Yeah. 
Let's go Josh. We got Josh Norris on the squad. Let's go Josh Norris. I fully, I fully believe that you could do uh, something better than Ultra Sun and Moon Sauce. And I have no well, doubt that Ultra Light is better as well. Well, we will find out when I play Ultra Light. Uh, I've been wanting to, yeah. Ronko, what's your, what's your opinion on Ultra Sun and Moon? Because we've had quite the heated, um... We have quite the heated uh, conversation here. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, honestly, I like. Oh, there you go. Um. <clears throat> Quit Moon after Island 3 didn't touch Ultra Sun and Moon. Only Pokemon games I didn't finish. I see, so another Pokemon in the lull in your Pokemon interest was in Gen 7. See, I was in high school and I thought I was so cool. In How? reality, I didn't talk to you. Would, you, would you say, would you say there was a sorry, lull stop. in your Pokemon interest? A what? A lull in your Pokemon interest? Ah, a lull. I get it. No. Come on, that was good. No, that was pretty good. Yeah, I. Yeah. yeah. See, Liam agrees with me, and he also dislikes black and white. Not only do I dislike, kinda dislike black and white, I uh, also dislike a lot of your puns. So the fact that you impressed me with one is uh. <laughs> Wait, are you just using like nightshade or some shit? Like, why are you? Sludge? Well, rip Gustav. I I I I did a pretty good one uh, earlier today for my mom because we got a grocery delivery and uh, we were you know putting away the groceries. Why the do you do so much damage with the, fucking? Uh, the the last two things to put away were a. Uh, packet of hollandaise sauce mix and uh a bag of like cinnamon oats and i was right. like oh hey look it's hull and oats right well now i have to craft two revival herbs oh, i already had one Whoops. Well, let's do that. Cool. Okay. Now we're now we're back, ready to ready to roll. Dude, I cannot wait till I evolve into a Fletchender. It's gonna be so nice. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to Fletchender. I think this is the wrong way. <clears throat> Dude, I'm... I know I'm gonna say this, but like... Like, obviously, we've had, like, the Route 216 theme here in this game, and, like, I feel like the music's been pretty solid overall, but I still just can't get with the gym, or, yeah, the gym leader theme being the fucking, um, being the wild Pokemon theme. Like, it just doesn't, it's not right. Also, we finally have a Fletchender. Be sure not to use any herbal medicine on Munchlax if you ever want it to evolve. Well, what else am I going to use on it, then? That's a good point. Oh, yeah, because it's friendship and the herb stuff lowers that. 
Well, hopefully this demo's not long enough for it to matter, because oh, Munchlax is pretty solid. Wait, Munchlax isn't a friendship, Evo! What is it, then? I thought it was friendship. It's, uh, you have, there's a specific hold item. It, it's one of the incenses. Um. Oh, never mind, it is friendship. Uh, My bad. I think I was thinking lax incense, but no, it, it's just high friendship. Well, at least we have a like, fire like type move on this thing incense now. thing. And then they noticed incense was fucking expensive. I was like, what other Pokemon evolve while holding incense? Well, then I should start switch training up Metatite because I do want to use one of these things. I just, I'm not a fan of, you know, situations that are going to come up like this. Incenses oh, are just no. a baby. You know what I'm thinking of? Incenses were never used to um, evolve Pokemon. It was they were used to breed the baby Pokemon. Yeah. So you need a Snorlax to hold about. the full incense to breed Munchlax. That's what it is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That makes more sense. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Gee, I'm surprised we haven't ran into one of these yet. Um, okay, Geodude. Let's go into the Nathan. So I also do want to use the main Nathan at some point. And I don't even know what I'm gonna do with Munchlax then, because I do really want to use like a Snorlax. I feel like a Snorlax would be fucking busted in this game. But I'm not sure we're ever gonna actually get to that, so... Pokemon Sleep reference. What a game Pokemon Sweet I, Sleep is. I haven't... I haven't played it. I was like, I don't I care. never have either. I don't care about how much sleep I get. I actually do care very much about how much sleep I guess. Yeah, I mean, I oh, care about sleep. Oh, the twins clinch the division. Let's go. We're playoff bound, baby. Pokemon to I don't need Pokemon to track it for me. I stopped playing Pokemon Sleep a week ago because nothing was happening. Yeah, why is Pokemon gathering all this personal data on us? Like, what's going on? Quoting my it? friend, we're 40 minutes in and nothing's happened. Have you already seen Antros fighting? His aggressive fighting style... Let's this Pokemon use dangerous moves without being worried by recoil damage or recharge turns. What? Excuse me? What did he just say? Mm -hmm. I was I was too focused on on quoting Jello Apocalypse's ten words or less review of Lady and the Tramp. What's wrong with Rock Wrecker with no drawbacks? Yeah, dude, Rock Wrecker with no drawbacks? Fucking Giga Impacts with no drawbacks? Like, what the fuck? La Lady and Tramp- La Lady and the Tramp is definitely one of those classic Disney movies that I feel like not enough people realize actually fucking sucks. Because <laughs> <laughs> I watched it recently, and yeah, that review that I just quoted is fucking accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started on the remake that is somehow even worse. And that I feel like people don't even know happened because it was a straight to Disney Plus original. Wait. Wait. Yeah, the where remake am I supposed fucking to go? Wait, where am too. I supposed to go? La Lady and the Tramp is the only reason the Lion King remake is not the worst Disney remake. <laughs> I forget, was the Mulan remake bad, or did people just hate it because you had to pay extra for it? I think it was... I never watched it. I think general consensus was that it was not very good. 
Why is that doing so much damage? And why are you hitting... Why did you hit the five rock blast and leave me on one fucking health, bro? I don't what care. it's worth, it got 72% critic oh, score and 46% audience oh, score. Oh shit. So. Don't attack me, please. Actually, more audience score than I expected. 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb. So yeah, I, th I think it was very middling. Not terrible, but not Mid. good. Mid. Um. Yeah, no, the Lion King remake fucking sucked. Lady and the Tramp, I mean, both versions are bad, but the remake is absolutely atrocious. Wait, is this I even gonna fit? I dread the Moana remake the, so much. The Russian spelling of Alexander? Oh, it does fit. Let's go. That said, there, there is one upcoming Disney remake that I'm like morbidly curious about because of the rumors of who might be directing it. Because right now there there's a rumor that Boz Lerman is going to direct the Tangled remake, which is an insane choice on Disney's part because Oz Lerman is not a cookie cutter director. <laughs> Who is asking for these remakes? Disney <laughs> company themselves. When people go see them. I mean, the, at least the 2D movie to live actions makes a little bit of sense. The 3D ones, no. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it depends I mean, on not, who they not cast. All of, not, not all the 2D ones that were remade. Oh, wait, I can run around here? Crazy. I mean, if people... That was an even BDSP they, released? If they, if they cave into fan requesting, it, it, it... Well, to be fair, a lot of people were asking for Gen 4 remakes. Yeah, I, I honestly they just still think that BDSP is a completely fine game. Yeah, I mean, it's the same game as Diamond and Pearl, which is good. It's a good game. It's just not what, what people well, were let's expecting. Let's ourselves. It is a remaster. It is not a remake. Yeah. Yeah? Aww. And I don't have an issue with that. I mean, hey. Diamond and Pearl were bad games. Uh, I mean, well, I agree what? that Platinum is better than Diamond and Pearl, but I don't think Diamond yeah. and Pearl were bad games. I mean, that goes games. without saying. I don't think Diamond and Pearl were bad. Do I think they should have remade Platinum instead of Diamond and Pearl? Absolutely. Yeah, Arbok they've already never, covers this. They've so. never remade the third. Yeah, they should have though. Um, so someone made someone made a ROM hack of um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl uh, called Luminescent Platinum. That was what BDSP should have been in, in their eyes. Uh, but they also made it ridiculously fucking hard. Because, mm -hmm. um, because that's what people Somebody do. Somebody, fucking fan game devs make a rum hack not impossible challenge. Literally impossible. Yeah. Um, and, like, uh, I watched four po Poketubers try to nuzlocke it, and they just fucking gave up because it was too, it was too... Uh, hard. Diamond Pearl was really cool when you came to it from Gen 3 and it was brand new because of the generation jump and a ton of new content. There were like 12 new evolutions and stuff and competitive battling took off. Yeah. But you look at Diamond and Pearl literally having two fire type evolution lines and one of them being the fucking starter, like... Yeah, there were some bad aspects of Diamond yeah. and Pearl. What was the yeah. other one? That's why I'm like, uh... Platinum? No, oh, no. The, the, the only the other fire, uh, fire type available in Diamond Pearl, uh, Ponyta Rapidash, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant, like, originated. No. Nope. No, just in general. Nope. <laughs> uh, there there are other fire types you can get in Sinnoh in Platinum, but they weren't in Diamond and Pearl. Um. Yeah, uh, that's generally true, yeah. Sauce. Especially the HP bars. We don't talk about Gen 4 yeah. HP bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh, is obviously an issue. Dude, you want to talk about HP bars? My first Pokemon games were on the Game Boy. <laughs> the HP bars still move faster than they do in Time and Pearl. Wait, wait, are you serious? Probably. <laughs> yes, we are dead serious. 
watch, look, look up a video of Blissey's HP moving down in Gen 4. Oh, no. So it's, it's by number, it's fucking, not by distance? It's yeah. fucking insane. <laughs> it's like they're doing a check on every single HP if the, the bar is supposed to stop. Like, I don't yeah, actually know what's going on. It's w watching Blissey's HP go down in that game is actually really funny. The story in general was badly developed, okay, need, having a bad, it. big lack of pacing between the second gym and the fifth gym. I mean, yeah, because they didn't make Fantina the third gym leader, which they did in Plat. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what level are we? We're level. We st still probably can't take on these wild Pokemon. God damn it! Or in your case, where Fantina is the eighth gym leader. Oh my goodness! We don't talk about that, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I pulled up the video, and holy hell! Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's okay. Stupid. And a lot of better Pokemon are only obtainable post game. Yeah, that's true as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, all the cool new evolutions are only. Are you kidding me? Wait, does Ember unthaw? Does Ember unthaw? Fuck, it doesn't. How does Ember not unthaw? It's literally a. Not all fire type moves unthaw. Bruh. That was gross, what I just saw. But, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's a big problem. The other, the other, I will say the other, like, even bigger issue than the HP bar that we haven't even addressed yet, uh, Fog is the worst. Yeah, but they didn't fix that one in Platinum. Yeah, but yeah, that, but is, that is also a big issue with Gen 4, is Fog. Wait, did they not fix the HP bars? They fixed it a little um, bit, but not slightly. Enough. Yeah, it's okay. still bad. Okay. It's still not great, but it is it is slightly faster in platinum. Oh, so they recognized it was a problem, and half-assed it. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing with platinum, they they had their focus on other things like having a bunch more Pokemon available and the whole distortion world thing. Oh, I have to fucking craft them. Uh, and cool new outfits for winter time. Yeah. I am drifting, so I think I'm gonna pop out here. The surfing yeah. speed is so bad, it's like one pixel per second. True. They also made the game harder in Platinum. I mean, like, yeah, Platinum is just definitely the better game in, like, every single aspect. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? Rip Nikita. Rip Nikita Kucherov. Mm -hmm. um, probably should have gone to the Dark type that I have. That's literally my best Pokemon. Charge Beam! Okay, thank God that killed. Do I need to buy a Revival Orb now? I probably should, because Hondra's probably obtainable in this game. Interestingly, there are nine there are nine moves that can thaw yeah, so Pokemon. I thought there were way more than that. Nope, just nine. And three of them are not fire type moves. Well, one's Scald, but Scald actually doesn't exist anymore, which is a travesty. Well, doesn't uh Volcanion still get Scald? Oh, I thought they just deleted it from the fucking game. Maybe Volcanion still gets it. Yeah, no, they gave it to Volcanion. Actually, it looks like they gave it, um... Oh, maybe, maybe this is a DLC thing. Uh, because I... OP says it's a TM in Gen 9. That that might just be a, a thing in the new... It does um, exist, actually. It came back in the DLC. Oh, would you look at yeah. that? Yeah, because they added a bunch more moves in the DLC. So now there are Pokemon that can get it. Um... Not a ton, but Slowbro, Gyarados, Vaporeon, Mew, 
cooking. Milotech. It has a much lower spread than all water um, types, though, which is good. No, I liked when every water type could learn Scald. <laughs> it made me not have to think as much. Can I run from this thing? Sweet. Oh, Oh wait, this is actually the right way to go. Onyx! 15? Oh, Fuck it, we're gonna go for this. Oh. Oh nice! Uh, S S Sinistra gets it. Sinis? Oh, the new... the green yeah. tea Sinistry? Fun fact! We actually made the green tea Sinistry regional form in a... well, I didn't make it but the Elysium team made it before Pokemon even announced it. So they probably stole it from us. There's probably a rat in, on the Elysium team, to be honest. But, um... Uh, but anyway, the, the other two non-fire moves that can uh, thaw are Steam Eruption, of course, and Scorching Sands. Hmm. Interesting. And then for Fire-type moves, Burn Up, Flame Wheel, Flare Blitz, Fusion Flare, Pyro Ball, and Sacred Fire. I thought for sure Flamethrower and or Fire Blast could, but I guess Yeah, not. I swear you could with, like, Flamethrower. Maybe in previous gens, I don't know. I should really, like, just have some items on hand as well. Let's have a few of you on hand. Makes you wonder why they even made the move Chilling Water to replace it if they were just gonna bring it back. It's so arbitrarily chosen, it makes no sense. Yeah! And the anime they thought out using the flamethrower, yep. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the anime. Pikachu can hit ground types half the time with Thunderbolt in the anime. Dude, he's just built different. I guess, yeah. He's built dull he's built different and then resets every every region, essentially. Yep. No, I did not fall. I just accidentally crafted like hell items on accident. I now have 14 energy powders and do not have enough equipment to make anything used. else. <laughs> the sprinklers used soak on Onyx before it was a thing, so it became a water type. <laughs> that doesn't explain the Geodude, though, because in the same episode, he hits the Geodude with, with Thundershock. Oh my god, we have Gen 4 poison? No. Why? No. So... Here's your health bar. Oh, it was below. Oh, it's it's on a different place. I need to start running from Wild Pokemon. Can you run from a Ghastly? Sweet. What level does Meditite evolve? Like, probably 35 or some absolutely stupid shit. In Gen 10, they'll make it so that Thundershock can hit ground types. Trust the anime is just ahead of its time. I mean, that's true. They've, like, I, every gen, they have introduced a Pokemon early in the anime. So, pretty much. At least one. If not a few. Well, this is going absolutely fantastic. We can use energy, yeah, but we can't like, revive a fucking Also, Pokemon. it it doesn't just happen in Gen 1. It also happened in Gen 4 with Rourke's team and Thunderbolt and whatnot. Wait. He I'm left a palm. He literally, he, he specifically left a palm out of that fight when a palm realistically could have done more to Rourke's team than Pikachu. Yeah, but it's Pikachu. 
He has Geodude and Onyx. He has Geodude, Onyx, and Cranidos. He is Brock plus a Cranidos. <laughs> he, because, like, half the games have a rock type gym leader as the first gym leader, yeah. and then they can't think of more rock types to include in the early game besides Geodude and Onyx. Mm hmm. And that's why Crazy, Roxanne right? has, a has a Geodude and a Nose pass. This is why DP sucks? That's no, not why DP not sucks, like though. DP it's a, a very common occurrence, I feel like. Because he also has wait, the Wait, we just got the recipe platinum. for a Hearthstone? Wait, wait. Don't mind if I do. This is just a, this is just a problem with having a Rock-type gym leader be the first gym leader. Who's and rock then team? not introducing rock enough rock types early game that wouldn't be busted larvitar ain't in diamond and pearl <laughs> <laughs> 